three, five. Hop that leg in, take leg long. Sit engaging for your core and a really great action. We woke up to rain and gloom, which inspired a nice warm beverage. I love Earl Grey tea with like a splash of milk. Oh my God. It's like so underrated in my opinion. I didn't realize how tired I was until filming this clip and talking, speaking. <laughs> Zoom meeting for a possible project that I'm attached to and I'm really excited and I hope it happens and it was really great. I love running errands with you. We're running some errands. We're gonna do, there you go. We're gonna donate some things to Goodwill and then we're gonna go to Google. getting some pots, plants, and trellises for one of our windows. Babe, so the question is, this is the dark pink, and then this is the same kind of flower, it's just the light pink with the orange. It was a bit of a puzzle to get everything into this car, but we've got the giant pots that I'm cradling. We managed to fit the trellises on top of the plants. There's a little bit of loose soil happening over there. Yeah, I'll get a car wash. It's okay, we could do a quick vacuum, but uh... ended up taking up a pretty large chunk of our day because we like we wanted to do it right you know hi guys hi everyone let me show you guys we took the plants out of their plastic pots and like properly planted them got some saucers we took the poles out that they were attached to and secured them to these wooden trellises we're actually going to get a third because there's definitely enough room and then we can also like attach all of the trellises to each other ultimately we just wanted something to provide a little bit of privacy especially when we're like sitting on the couch we could have done taller I I feel fine with this because I think especially if the plants grow and get thicker and kind of grow higher I think it'll be great and also anything higher I feel oh nice anything higher would maybe flop around too much in the wind I think especially like with this arched window a curtain wouldn't have made sense like I like that we did this you know it's great to have daylight it's just like we're looking directly into the windows of our neighbor's house yeah and yeah, Peaches, you were you were really curious about that whole process, weren't you? Sploosh! This is how she gets off couches. Oh, every time. Every time. Last week we got our nightstand sconces placed in. I don't think the light bulb that I got is any warmer. Come tell me what you think. Looks identical. Looks identical, right? Yeah. Um, and those and are too big, right? Those are too big, yeah. <laughs> Hot luck! Oh, all right. She's falling off. She's, She's falling, falling off. off. <laughs> She's off the rails. <laughs> She's off the rails. Somebody help her. Rude. <laughs> it's sending me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the chocolate needs to be thicker, I think. Thinner, thinner, right? Yeah, thinner. Thinner. Oh, it's the like prompts. <laughs> For me. She's got a puff sleeve. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> Is this our girl boss? 
This might be her boss, babe. Well, we need to do the white chocolate. America's next Ladies. top Thanksgiving strawberry. <laughs> Oh my God. I feel like Frankenstein. <laughs> All our rejects. Do we want the smiley face? You one guys. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I got a leg. I got the movement. I like the crunch of the leg. Mm -hmm. I really like the crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish Yum. more crunch. I would have yeah. got more legs. <laughs> the fries? More legs. More legs? <laughs> more legs. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do this, add more legs. <laughs> I love that it's Halloween time and you could have done eight-legged <laughs> spider ones and you guys were like, no, nope, turkey, 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 turkey. Yeah. Thanksgiving. So I was planning on leaving the house. I was gonna take care of a few things, go pick up another pot, another trellis. And then I remembered that we're getting all of our trees trimmed today. We've got like a very massive tree that kind of hovers over our house so we have to get it trimmed like once or twice a year because as it grows the branches start kind of sagging and it could be a potential threat with heavy winds so we're getting that trimmed as well as a lot of like backyard trees and we've got like a gate that protects our driveway and just like the entire gate and driveway is blocked off by like a tree wood shutter. It doesn't look like a convenient thing to ask to move. So I feel that I am trapped. I feel that I cannot leave the house and I'm not gonna Uber to go buy a pot and a trellis. <laughs> that is how you get like a one star rating, truly. Can you imagine? Hi, can we just put the seats down so we can fit this fucking eight foot trellis in your car? So yeah, our entire yard is just like covered in so many branches and we've got people standing on trees. So I was reading your comments on my last video and I felt very <laughs> comforted and very validated because a lot of you guys agreed with me or could relate to what I was saying just in terms of like being in a funk and sometimes when you go through these reflective periods like you just feel very isolated and very like alone and I feel that still a little bit but it's also evolved into this feeling of I guess fatigue would be the word but it's weird because like I'm getting my full hours eight hours of sleep most nights, living an active lifestyle, drinking as much water as we can, all that stuff. But I've just been feeling so exhausted lately. And it's like one of those things that I have to choose to ignore. But because I'm ignoring it, I feel like I'm just not present while I'm doing everything. Um, like I just keep kind of checking in with myself and feeling very lousy for not being present or grateful or I don't know, like entirely focused. So then on top of that, I also feel like I am operating so slowly. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I don't know why that's happening. If you are someone who puts a lot of like your self-worth into your productivity and how much you're getting done in a day, which not saying that's healthy, but that is definitely where I categorize myself. I guess it's weird to acknowledge that I really set my worth based on like, how much I'm getting done. Combining that with this weird like slow motion feeling where I really feel like I'm just operating so slowly. Yeah, it doesn't make you feel good, no. Anyway, so that's kind of where it's evolved, which is fine. I saw a friend recently post that Mercury was in retrograde and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm always hearing that it is. So I just choose not to believe in it. It's been one of those days where Peach is stuck at the house because we've got all our gates open and so if she goes in the backyard, she will escape, she will run away. She's too curious, we don't trust her. And then she's barking because she's seeing branches fly out the window. Cool it, it's fine. She's coming upstairs. She's gonna come up, she's gonna be like, mom, I saw the craziest thing ever. What'd you see? What did you see? Was the craziest, craziest thing ever? Come here, come here, go <laughs> What can we learn from this chat? How can we all come out of this weird funk that we all seem to be in? Be gentle with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself smaller hills to climb every day. I feel like I'm constantly writing all this shit that I want to get done. And then if I don't get it all done, suddenly I feel so bad about myself. But like, let's just rebuild a reputation with ourselves 
that we do keep our promises. I am very, very excited about this evening. We're going to uh, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, I believe, and this is the first year they are including Harry Potter worlds with Horror Nights um, because of COVID, they want everyone to be like more spread out, which I'm very excited about because I just want to like walk through Diagon Alley at nighttime when it's spooky. I wish they had like, wish they made it a scare zone, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're trying not to associate Harry Potter world with being scary. But just like imagine if there were like Dementors just like gliding around in their cape hooded outfits and like witches and stuff. I feel like there's like a big opportunity there and I'm just like not seeing them take it. Oh. 